I put my beer. Can you see my beer? Yeah, yeah. You know Where's the stripper chick? I don't know. You guys are supposed to bring them. Maybe some of these girls here can be encouraged to come up and dance and show us what Houston's got. Because them Austin chicks were talking shit about you guys last night. They said fucking Houston chicks ain't delivering the goods. They ain't gonna get up here and dance with the mentors. They're too pissy and stuck up and stuff. And we said, nope, they're gonna come on stage and get naked for sure. They said, no, nope, ain't gonna happen. So we'll see, man. It's Austin right? If they would have won the World Series, it'd all be naked right now. <laughs> It'd be dope guns and fucking in the streets, right?
All right, we're here to piss people off and fuck shit up here. Thanks a lot to the skate nation for putting this shit on. We really appreciate it. We're here to be with y'all. So we got a, a special thing we like to do. It's a mentor rape rock challenge, the guys in the band. You gotta find the hottest chick in the bar, take her back to the hotel room, fuck her, and then pee on her. If you do that, you get you get double pay. It's an incentive for rape rock activity. I'm trying to earn as many bonuses as I can. <laughs> this one is called Golden Fucking Shower. I have the righteous power to give you a shit tower. possibly give us the longest distance. We all measured easily over 8 to 10 inches. Which, according to the American Medical Association, qualifies us as donkey dicks. So we got this song to tell you all about. It's called Donkey Dick. In Spanish, I don't know how you say it, but how do you say it in Italian, man, you know? <laughs> He's from Italy. So if any girls want to have a little bit of Italy, a taste of Italy, come and suck on his dick. We got General Bastard on guitar from Detroit, Michigan. 
I'm back there. He's in the scum of the Seattle Washington. This one is called Donkey Dick. shit about you guys too. They said you're good for a free fix for a fuck. They said there's a lot of <laughs> chicks around here that would do that, but they wouldn't get up on stage and dance with the mentors and get naked. So you guys are all proving them right so far. Well maybe this will encourage them to come up like like flies to fucking honey or something. <laughs> Mosquitoes to my white ass. <laughs> Yeah, we'll bring them up. Okay, ladies, don't forget, the offer is good until midnight. Three fits for the fuck. <laughs>
I came home and smelled like cigarettes. I go, yeah, dude, I smoked a fucking pack of cigarettes, you dumb bitch. Now don't be bitching at me for this shit. Man's gotta do what man's gotta do. So, we got a song dedicated to myself because I turned into a rock'em, sock'em man. With a song called Rock'em Sock'em.
Another flawless performance from a mentor super group here tonight in Houston. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming out and partying with us. We've been on the road for, almost, for over a month, actually. We're going to go home in about three or four more gigs, so you caught us at the right time to get high and party with us. Fuck yeah! <laughs> anyway, this song is what should we do? Let's play Sandwich of Love. Let's tell, talk about train rides. How many people here like to take train rides? How many girls like to take a train ride? <laughs> I'm at the Red Roof Inn Plus. Uh, sleep uh, 30, 88. Yes. This is our Me Too tour, so we're going around grabbing tits and asses and titties and looking at them and shit, so you've been warned. It's like, Alright, this is called Sandwich of Love. One below and one above. Fucking that, that ugly chick over there. 
I said, no, that wasn't me. And then they showed me a picture of me doing it. I had to admit it. And it was a revenge porn that I done to it. Anyway, then I said, well, when you're horny, you're horny. That's the point of this song. But you tell your friends when they say, hey, man, how can you fuck that ugly crowd? You say, when you're horny, you're horny. My uh, philosophy is is just that they're like goals in hockey, you know. It's like they're not all highlight real material, but in the end, it's about how many you get, you know. It's a purely numbers game is what it is. Once you figure that out, you got it made. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's sexonomics. He's a Detroit Red Wing fan, I guess. He's got a yeah. Red Wing. Did you get your Red Wings? <laughs> Everybody in this band, I think, is under Red Wings at least once, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's healthy. It's Geritol for an old man like me. I'll jump on that shit. How do you? This one is dedicated to us who love to go into a woman's restroom and spy on those beautiful women doing that shit they like to do in there. That's right, Joe. Snort coke and take peas and take cracks. And I'm talking to the girlfriend. Ooh, you see that cute guy over there? I heard he wants to give gold and tell. <laughs> anyway, this one is called Peep and Tom.
got one more for y'all. We were down in the fucking uh, 